Hey guys, it's Sarah again, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Revlon uh, color, wait, what are these called exactly? Revlon Cream Shadows. Um, and I've had these for a couple months now, and I have them in two different colors. I'm sure that you've seen in videos. I have them in this khaki suede, which is greens, and then Wild Orchids, which is purple. And I am very pleased with the quality of the, the little cream shadows. And the colors are really nice. Like, this is what the darkest green looks like. And my favorite one in this Wild Orchids one is this reddish purplish. Oh, I love it. That's what it looks like. Just after one, one swipe. So, um, the color payoff is really nice for these. My only problem with them is that after owning this khaki suede one for, let's say like a month, I hit pan on that, on the neutral one. And granted, I did use it pretty much every day, and whenever I started using these, I think I kind of used a little too much, like you just need a tiny amount, um, but still, like, I was like, what, I hit pan, like, that really sucks. But, uh, yeah, these are like maybe $4 at Target, and I'd say they're a great alternative to, um, like buying a paint pot or something like that. Now obviously a paint pot is going to be better quality, um, but it's like 20 bucks more. So, um, also these, these, I've only had these like crease on me a couple times and it's whenever I've been outside and been running around doing stuff and I've gotten like hot and sweaty, these have, um, my shadows creased. But, at, for the most part, they don't. So, for me, that's good enough. If you are like, no creasing whatsoever, I would not recommend these. But for me, I'm okay with that. Because I never even notice it until like I'm taking my makeup off at night. And I'll be like, yeah, it creased a little bit. Um, but it's not noticeable. And I don't know if that's just because of my eye shape or whatever. But, um, yeah. So, I really want to go back and get... There's another... I think there's like maybe two or three more, but one of them is pinks, and there's one that has a navy blue color in it, which would be great because I do blue eyes all the time, and it would be great to have a blue base for that. But, um, yeah, I might get, give these like a four out of five, um, because really it's just the fact that they every once in a while crease, and the fact that I hit pan relatively quickly. I don't know if you think that a month is relatively quickly, but for me, like, my All My Cream to Powder Shadow that I use as a base all the time, like, I hit pan on that after like three months of constant use. So, and granted there is more product in that, so, um, but still I was pretty bummed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but, um, thankfully the color that I hit pan on, like, is one that I would use all the time. Like, I'm not going to use this bright green one all the time or something like that. So, I think the last time I used this, that bright green was like maybe a week, week and a half ago. So, um, you know, it's not like I'm going to, like, if I use these all the time, I'm sure I would hit pan on them very soon. But, um, yeah, for this purple one, I've used it quite a few times and I haven't hit pan on it, so, um, I would, I would recommend these, though. I think that these are really, really great, and I think this was a brilliant idea for everyone to come out with this, um, because they're a great alternative to, um, more expensive primers, and they're really great colors, so, I'll show you, this is what, uh, I love doing purples, and that's what one of the purples looks like. Uh, you probably, I don't know if you can tell. It's right there. But, uh, yeah. So I've been really pleased with these. And I would definitely rebuy it. So even though there's a, like a couple cons to it, um, I would definitely rebuy them. So, that's my review. I don't know um, if you guys own any of these. Do you hate them, love them? Let me know. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.